Welcome back to another episode of Sipping and, and Tripping. Tripping. Well, we sit up here and we have a good time on the show. We talk on good facts and everything. And we have a guest today. Yes. My yes. homie. Welcome, welcome. My motherfucking girl. The kid of the room. Let me give it up for her. Thank you so finally much. Finally here to Sipping and Tripping. I know, right? It's been a while. I've been trying to get here, but I'm here today. Yeah, you're here. You're we here. Glad, yeah. We're glad you finally made it. I'm glad you finally made it. Okay, you here with your boy Slick Baby Comedian and Ms. <laughs> Certified. Hey, thank you. You finally got it right. Yeah, I got it, I got it right today. You got it right today. Okay, I'm just going to kick me out of the You didn't say the whole okay. damn name this time. You just said what I asked you. How you feeling today, man? You good? Man, I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm ready for the holidays and stuff. So. Oh, man. I forgot it is holiday time. You know, I ain't going to I'm from Chattanooga, but the C H A T T A. Okay, okay. I don't okay, know that town. Never knew they had a slogan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is across the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah we crossed the river, too. Yeah, that's a real chat. That's yeah, I, I just know I got to go there to get to Atlanta. You know? <laughs> I got to pass. I got to pass. I just went through that last week. Okay. And you left me? You know I'm trying to see Pops. I told y'all I was going to a wedding sleep. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to a wedding. Yeah, I, I wasn't no, I wasn't ready for that. Fun, yeah, I wasn't wedding ready. I couldn't no, go today. Trust me, yeah. I wasn't either, but this one, we pulled it out. One for the Look, team. Mr. Kid, we are glad that you're here. You came to kick with us. You took your time out to come and mess with us today. We really appreciate it. And being a female comic, how do you like it down here? Man, I really like it down here in Nashville because I actually did like my first set in Chattanooga, and then I left the city and moved here. And my platform started up here, so a bunch of open mics. So yeah, I like it. so many open mics everywhere. Yeah, every day, every day. Man, what you said? I can't make them every day, but you know, the ones that I can make, I try to do that. Right. So we got two and one of my favorite female two comedians up here, three. man. We yeah. welcome each other to the game. Yeah, yeah. we gonna have to stick together. And work. Uh, we're we're all right. Right. It's only a little testosterone on this show today, just a little. <laughs> Estrogen and anything, you know. <laughs> hey, but listen, we all one big family though, so yes. that's all yeah. that matters. Definitely, the team that rolls together stays together. Yes, okay. yes. All this community we try to stick together. You know, we got other people that feel different, but you know, this is what it is. But we, for the most part, we always try to stick together. All the comedians, man, y'all, my family. You know, sometimes with family, you don't like them. Everybody finna realize that on Thursday. I love you, but I don't like you. <laughs> Especially when they start taking them extra plates home. Oh, shit. And they only brought some soda. And <laughs> <laughs> they got half a pan of dressing. Why is it always an uncle to do that? Why is it always no, an uncle to do that? See, I got an auntie that do that shit. Do you? Yeah. I got an uncle to do she that. She come and fix a plate for all her kids. They don't even show up. See, my family different. We have tip books going. Ain't nobody eating to them books going yet first. We're going to get them out. Hey, you know, oh, you better eat. You better eat just out to something before you can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got six clock of weed. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't eat either. Ain't no to go for You better make that one round around the table. I'm telling you, my <laughs> grandmama does the same thing. She always tells me, be there at three is when we start. Food did not get out to 6.30. It's like, bitch, is you starting at 3.30 cooking? Or like, what? I don't get that. So Big Mama cooking is here? Oh, yeah. I'm going to slide through. Because oh, I ain't too. cooking nothing. Oh, you good, man. Come on through. You it's know gonna, I'm coming. It's going to be a good time. It, and she has like two or three big pans of macaroni and cheese, two or three big pans of dressing, two or three big pans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Big yeah. Mama she cooks like a football team. That, that's that's yes, usually a regular Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, got, she cooks like she feeding the homeless. Like, that's what she does. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Tequila, talk to us, man. What made you want to do comedy? Well, uh, my pops passed away. You know, he was, he, he was my influential. He was very funny, very silly. So, he had a very sly tongue, so he had a lot of stories and stuff. But I had been writing for years, just mm -hmm. writing funny stuff that happened or anything horrible that happened. And so, happy I didn't know I'm writing script, I'm writing stuff that I can do jokes out. So I just yeah. go and pull from that. But it started for me going to jail. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make a story quick. That's okay. But, but like, we got plenty of time. Okay, so look, check this out. Did you do too? <laughs> Motherfucker, why you trying to throw me up under the bus? We on the same goddamn team. <laughs> What team is you playing for? The Knicks? Well, Are you playing for the well, Knicks? I feel like we're sitting at the feather tape. You see what team I'm playing for? You playing for the Knicks? No, no, no I ain't playing for the Knicks. It was just match the shoes. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not a Nick. <laughs> at all. I'm a Laker. Well, you acting like a Nick today. <laughs> a Nick or a Nick? Go ahead, Miss. Well, so anyway, something that happened to me, it actually felt, made me feel like I was silenced. And then mm -hmm. I was so angry and then, you know, I just happened to be at a comedy show and just ended up going up there and just talked about it. And they were laughing at it. And I'm like, yeah, you know, 
like, no, I went to jail for this. <laughs> and it was just that easy to go up there. I mean, I didn't know what the hell I was talking about, but I went up there and did it. And I mean, it was good, you know, shoot. All the energy when I got out, my drilling was rushing. I'm like, okay, I got to do this again. And so that's when I came up here to Nashville and just been rocking ever since, going to Kentucky and stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's where the comedy came from. So has the, has the Nashville comedians embraced you since you've been down here? Yeah, yes, yeah, love everywhere. You know, everybody everybody got their groups and stuff, but yeah. you know, for overall, everybody you know positive vibes. But I run into any comedians. You know, I don't know the whole com- comedy scene, but from the people that I have met, everybody got good energy. You know, cool. Tell the people how they can reach you and like what what platform that you are on. So the people, if I want to know, I want to see the Kilo Rooms comedy. Where do I go to? So if you want to find any of my comedy, um, first of all, if you want to see my crazy skits and stuff, TikTok. And it's tequila, T-A-K-E-L-A, and then room, like a bedroom. Tequila yeah. room. You go to TikTok, that's where all my funny, crazy, viral stuff is. Yeah. And then you got Facebook, we got Instagram, and then YouTube got a lot of our stand-ups from when I, very, when I first started. But you got to put it out there so you can yeah. see where I've developed it, you know. I think it's good for people to see where you first started to where you at now. Yes, because I've only been doing it for like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Um, In September, you know, it started getting dry and I didn't have nobody booking me. So, you know what? I just booked my own comedy tour and I went down to Atlanta, went to Nick Cannon, Wildin' Out. And um, DC Youngfly, he was shooting my promos for me. So it was just like everything just coming together. And I was just hitting up all these different uptown and all those different comedy clubs. That's what's up. So if we need to do this as a group, we need to go to California and just... Right, for a whole week. Boom, 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 yeah, boom, I'm going boom. to California next month, man. I'm going to do the Laugh Factory. The Laugh Factory. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I figure like sometimes you have to step out of the box to be able to get certain people to see you. So because Nashville is a good scene, that Nashville does have a good scenes, a good comedy, but when you want to get that exposure, mm-hmm. you got to go to these bigger cities. Is this too. your first time going to the Laugh Factory up there? Yes, my first time going to Laugh Factory. Okay. Yeah. That's in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're going to do that, and I'm going to do uh, New York too. I'm going to hit both scenes. I'm going to do okay. going to both of them once a month. If I can do more, we can do more, but you know, I got to stand all the way in Tennessee. Like but I can't say it. Yeah, <laughs> man. The airport is high. Yeah, the rest of the tickets coming out of Nashville. I don't know why they're so expensive. I don't know either. I don't know. That, that, that shit is costly. So one question that I have, how did you get your name to Kilo? Well, the name Tequila. Sounds I, exotic. Come to the tequila. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, so Tequila is my middle name, my birth middle name, you know. Oh, for real, yeah, for tequila, real. Tequila, yeah. Okay, cool. I ain't gonna say birth because I changed it. You know, it's me. So, Tequila is my middle name. And then Room, I felt like it was, I was gonna create a platform where everybody could come into this room. Like, that's why I had, like, a, I had a comedy show. It was called The Tequila Room. But I didn't want it to just be stuck to just comedy. I wanted all art. I don't care if you come to play violin, bebop. I just wanted all art. You know, because right. comedy is an art, you know? Yes. So we're healing, and that's why I got the slogan, Obey Your Laughter. And I just think that everybody should do that. You know, no matter what the hell going on, once you obey that laughter, it just kind of settles everything. And a good laughter is something that everybody needs as an antidote. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I like how you came up with that. You know, Miss Certified, you know, she's went through 90 names before. <laughs> you got to find your name. You got to find that, that right name because my, my middle name was Mr. It was Takeda. Then it was Takeka on my social security. Like, who am I? <laughs> like, so I just said, you know what? I'm going to name myself Tequila, not knowing that that is an alcohol. You know, I didn't know yeah. that, but I had to figure out something I want to about Takeda or Takeka. Who was that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't feel bad. My name been fucked up for Boy, some yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm La Quinta, La Quinta, Chiquita, Katina, Molina. I'm all, I, everything except for La Quinta's on here, man. Yeah, I'm saying, that's, I know, I can't help it. That's my mama name. After somebody, some Mexican chick. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can say. I mean, what do you want me to do? Call that and say, Mama, look, you fucked up. You just fucked up. You can't do that. Your mom's ain't thing like you. She gonna cuss you out and hang up. Yeah, she will. Yeah. She gonna hang up, but she gonna laugh why she cussing me out. Yeah. But then I know she for real. I got, I got, I gotta see that. Do it, do it. I want to see a person laugh. You know, and I, cuss you at the same I laugh way. because of you out. And you just why you always cussing me out? Yeah, but I you don't be laughing usually when you cussing me out. You do. You got this serious face on. I mean, they're gonna brace it, gonna pop the way she be looking at me. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do the train tracks now. No, 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 no,
All right. You got this one now. They finally coming out. They coming out. Really? What I said? Are you throwing shots at me? No, I was with you. Oh, okay. I was with you. I said, I'm with you. I said, all right. He said, finally coming out. I mean, damn. You act like I had about 20 years. I'm not about myself. I mean, I could be wrong. Or I could be wrong. You know you're wrong. I could be right, though. I could be with you when you're right. But when you're wrong, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to be with you when you're right. But when you're wrong, I'm going to let you know. Don't talk to me, the kid. With the uh, with the comedy stuff down here, like, what is your next move? Like, what is your goal? Why for doing comedy? Like, what is your thing? Like, what are you trying to reach to? So my my goal is, I'm really just trying to like reach a platform where I'm traveling. I just want to travel and go do comedy. So just constant travel. Cause it's like it's so healing for me. People just don't know when I see them smiling in the audience. I'm like, oh god, you feeling so good. good. Fuck that damn life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they got them breaks I had to pay for. You know, it's just yeah. like it. Not like, just just joking around with that, but yeah, it's. It's healing for me, you know, and I love to, to heal people because I know people I always got something going on and I have a way of, it could be death, it could be a serious moment, but I have a way of mm-hmm. finessing my way into it to make you feel like comfortable, like, let me calm down. It's just an emotion. It's temporary. I don't have to stay that way. So, yeah. and that's what I'm about, you know. That's dope. I always say that. Uh, I was talking to Sean one day. I said, we're like, I said, we're drugs. Oh, yeah, yeah. People I said we're like drugs because we for make you forget about your problem for them little 10, 15 minutes that we on there, five minutes. You forget that your license couldn't cut off in the morning, bitch, you'll call them 325. You you know? yeah. We yeah. make you forget about that shit. So you get in the car, you know, it's just like a high. It stays high for like what, 30, 45 minutes. Next thing you know, it's back to reality. Like, damn. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. We don't have no license. Because if you think about it, you know, you be having a moment like, dang, you know, this is really hard, but what's going on? But then when you get to thinking like, you know what? It don't even have to be that bad. You know, and then when we was growing up, we watching these comedy shows and stuff. That's my favorite part. You rewind it to that point. Yeah. You keep watching. Like, I wish you'd do more of that. You know, and it, that's just how it, you know, it is. You're just going to hear that same joke over and over and over again. So when you started comedy, who did you start? Like, who was your mentor that you feel like that you, you know what I'm saying, wanted to watch and study to, as you come up? Like, like who was your favorite person to watch? Give me three. God, only this one. I started this uh, spiritual journey when um, when I went to that stage. I was on the starting a spiritual journey where I just left my city, you know, went through a divorce, and it's just like me up here, you know, nobody, there's no family, no friends, and it's been that way. So on this journey, I just been mentoring myself, you know, T. Jakes, you know, anything that's got some do with that word. That's what I. That's how I've been doing, you know. And I I don't I don't take offense to it, but people be like, you need to watch this comedian or watch that. I won't do that because if I start watching them and then I start doing my swag like them, like I ain't just copied off them, you know. Right, but I don't, I don't, know, I don't, I don't know why I can't just watch other comedians and just, I just can't do it. Because uh, I want to keep my own unique <laughs> talent. But I know there's closing doors that can be open. But I will not network. necessarily. Gary always said he doesn't listen to watch other comics because he wanted his stuff. He basically said the same thing you said. And like when I was doing music, I used to listen to a lot of G's and T.I. So when my, a lot of my music in the beginning sounded like a T.I. or a oh, G's yeah. sound. But later on, I came into my own. And that's kind of what I'm doing with comedy. You like started coming to your own. But you take, what you're doing is basically just taking my my personal opinion. I'm taking notes. And it's me taking notes and stuff. And then later, eventually, I start to mold myself into who Slick Baker really is. Mm-hmm. But I like to see them setups. Them punchlines, how they give stuff, how they interact with crowds, because you know it's just kind of like a teacher thing for me. Yeah. Now, if I can name one comedian that I always watch, uh, Robin Harris, it remind me a lot because, but I'm not the comedian. You know, you don't want to be up there clowning on everybody, but you know, you got the people that's out there heckling. I'm the person you got to come to me first, and then I'm coming. I'm not just going to voluntarily do it. Like how he do, he'll come right there and hey, look at your glasses, look at your pants, pull those down, you know, he'll run up on you. And I'm not, I, I know that's in me, but I don't want to make people feel that way, but that's just my own way. I can be up close to personal with people, you know, because I've been in a doing comedy where we just this close to each other. I'm just talking, like, you know, so, but that's that's something that I, I did watch him a lot. Um, there's nobody else. I've never even watched the Eddie Murphy Raw or, uh, I know, I'm, I, I have to admit it. I haven't watched him, Richard Pryor, y'all hear it, yeah, because I just want to be my own person. All my comedy is real stories, it's all true stories. Mm -hmm. I just have tweaked it a little bit, so I'm not going to you know, I got to go home, you know. (laughs) But yeah, that's that's just how it is right now, you know. But I do, I have been at comedy shows, like I've come to your show 
and then watched everybody perform. That was the first time I ever watched other comedians perform when I came that day. Yeah. You know, and it was good, you know. It's good to watch other people sometimes. But I wanted my name to be called. I wanted to go up there too. <laughs> Well, we, when you gonna be on the show? It's the gonna, next question. We gonna we gonna definitely get you over. We gonna definitely get you over. Certified about to make her appearance in December. Uh, who? Now, I'm sure I wanna ask you, Miss Certified. I don't know why I ain't gonna. Cause Sean is what you always call. Me. But I gotta quit that. I have to go by go by your stage name. Okay. So, Miss Certified, who are some people that you listen to? I, you know, I I love Kevin Hart. I ain't gonna even lie. I love Kevin Hart because. Me too. Cause Kevin Hart funny for real. Some people say he's not funny, but to me he's funny. His stories that he tell is funny, mm-hmm. and I cause the same kind of people he got in his family. I think I got in mine. Yeah. I, I yeah. mean, like we can communicate. Like the families is his family is my family. My family is his family. Right. I have those same people. So my his comedy and my comedy will reflect off of our family. It's like you say, mm-hmm. they're true stories mm-hmm. because we have those same people in our family. But I like I like Chris Rock. I like uh, um, there's so many. Mike Epps. I like I love yeah. Mike Epps. That's when I watched Mike Epps. Epps is I stupid doing comedy mm-hmm. I just started doing comedy a year and a half. I watched them before, but I didn't never think I'm gonna get on the stage and do it. Right, comedy. and see, I've never been that kind of person either. Have you ever seen the Upshaws? Yes. Um, I watched that and I laughed the whole on every fucking show. That man is literally silly. He really is. I know I'm slow, but look, this damn Boondocks, man. I that's never watched show. it, but this damn job, he's so funny, man. Oh, yeah, that's my show. He ate that. That was hands down my that. show. He ate that. It oh, was hands down. I think, like with the Kevin Hart thing, I'm going to quote on what you spoke on about his people say he's not funny. Kevin Hart, when he was hungry and poor, we, we felt him and related to him. I think a lot now with him being rich, it ain't just as relatable. You know, I don't mm-hmm. know how it feels for my kids to be with their mama and be like, Dad, we're in coach. You know what I'm saying? Because they used to ride in private jets. Uh, Kevin, I would love to ride in private jet. Make me a plastic cup board. I mean, we ain't got a plastic cup board cups here, but, you know, we can't afford those kind of things here. This is a very low budget. <laughs> this is a very low budget production that we have going on here. We would, I would love to be a plastic cup board. But def- I think he definitely is a naturally funny guy. I would love to kick it with him. And I would love to have him on Sip of the Tripper one day. And I think that one day that's the whole point. We have a vision here. Right. We're starting right. here. And it's nothing but... We can't go no farther than up. But I feel like right now we are in the in the sewers. I only think we on the bottom. That's we in the right. sewers. You do exits and something right. small. Yeah, man. You start off. So you got to start off somewhere. Yeah, and that's you know, like me. I started off in the project. Now I live in the, in the midtown. No, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. There you go. But then you, know, you, you come, but then, but then she comes to the show and she's right back in the project. See? <laughs> you right there. <laughs> we're hood here, babe. We're hood here. I'm not hood. No, we're hood here. This is, <laughs> our setup is hood as shit. Well, <laughs> but you know what? Start from the bottom, now we're here. We're going to be singing that same song, and I yes. give it about five years. Yes. And I ain't going to even give it that long because I think we be, we be doing a lot of extra stuff. I created a song. Like so. Oh, we got to hear this shit. Oh my god! So like. Oh, we got to hear this shit. Thursday, I did comedy with my uh, guitar. <laughs> oh shit! You know, even when the muffles start laughing. And I had, they tell you. Look, I had the, everybody in there saying it's on the back of my shirt. It's a sorry to bother you, but fuck you. <laughs> so they in there chanting, sorry to bother you, but fuck you. <laughs> you know, sorry. I'm like, you know what? This is it right here. But I didn't have my little, you yeah. know, pick. Uh-huh. I'm like, hold on, y'all. They're like, you need that. I mean, they was rooting me on. That was my first time ever doing that. But it was so funny, though. Got a little instrumental with it and everything. Yeah. But I, you know. Now, we, we, we would like to hear it here. I can't do it right now. That's how I got Why you ain't you're, bring you're, your good time? You're big with you. We're, we're live here. We're recording. I'm going to do that. We'll say that for the next session. You know? I, I, look, like I told them, look. I practiced yesterday. Hey. <laughs> 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 I never played this. I bought me a guitar to try something. I practiced yesterday. So you learn about a guitar that you don't know how to play. Don't know how to play. Just grab it. Just grab it and just start playing it. Yeah. That is very motivating. It's trying some different. I mean, I played the piano, so yeah, I'm, it shouldn't I be too hard to read. Cool. You know, There's nothing wrong with that. I don't think I'm trying to try and crack. I'm trying to lose but weight. Them fingers, though. I'm <laughs> telling you, <laughs> them fingers with that guitar. Your fingers got to be real rough to play that guitar. You thought about well, let's go back to this. Put it back. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, put it back. Oh, I did not mean. Where in the. You just like my uncle. Random. That said he wants to fucking try fucking. Uh, what is this shit? I don't know what it 
that shit, baby. <laughs> I want to try that too. I'm going to wait all this shit when I get older. Now, wait, I wait, told wait. my uncle, I said, trying heroin, you must want to lose your teeth. You only got seven. Oh, that's more myth. Heroin, you lose your teeth. Too. No, no. You, you lose your pride. It, 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 it rocks. No. It, it rocks. They well, rocks on the roots of their mouth. Move. You don't have to try something. They kind of move. Well, by the time I try, my teeth will be fine out anyway, so I'm pretty cool. On to the next subject. What? I mean, what's wrong? Look, I'm one of the people. I never tried cocaine. I never tried none of the other drugs. So I'm waiting until like I'm in my 60, 65 age, and then I'm, I'm going to turn to a straight junkie. I'm going to try some shit. I want to know. What it's best to try while you're young because your heart's strong. No, I, I don't give a damn. Uh, I want to try older because I want to know. Anytime. I always be doing some crazy shit. But anytime you hit some shit I say, and right. say fuck everything, like you don't care about your family and kids. Fuck I, them that kids. Fuck, yeah. No, it's really fuck them kids when you're on that shit. Like, I don't even care about your Christmas. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be up on the day tree trying to pawn some shit. Like, <laughs> that's, that's what the fuck I'm on. I'm, I'm on the motherfucker be up on the tree talking about what day, day, what you do for Christmas? Uh, a box. Like so, what was in it? I took it. That, 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 that hit. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I know it's crazy, but I later don't want to try drugs. So I, I, that, that's okay. gonna be my thing. So look, Tequila, we are gonna get up and pay these bills right quick, and we gonna come right back <laughs> to sip it. It all gets way more ignorant than this on the next round. To so sip it and trip. <laughs> What's going on, man? It's your boy Slick Baby, the comedian, on a podcast, Sipping and Tripping. Tune in to us every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, man, we are sitting here down here with comedians and other people that's moving and shaking in our city and other cities. So thank you for tuning in, man. We appreciate that. How at your boy. Welcome back to Sipping and, and Tripping with your boy Slick Baby, the comedian, Ms. Certified. And our special guest today, man, a very funny tequila roll. Yes, tequila yes, roll. Yes, yeah. That sounds so tequila sexy. Roll. Roll. You know, that sounds so sexy. I bet the tequila roll. I feel like there's a place I can go get my freak on. <laughs> and the tequila roll. Hey, yeah, come get in it. In the making. Yeah, pull up a gap like you want to come. What you saying? In the making. In the tequila room. the tequila room. Yeah. Now, one thing I want to ask y'all about, um, the LGBTQ shooting that happened. In Colorado, please give me your thoughts on that, tequila. Man, it's crazy because they're not even talking about it on the news. You have to look it up because it happened in Colorado, and it's like Colorado got a lot of mass shootings going on there. I think that's the best, safest place to move to. Really? Yeah, <laughs> they had more than one shooting in Colorado. Yeah, they sure did. You said it's the safest. <laughs> no, it's not the safest. I said that, that is shooting. Oh, it's not like I didn't hear not in that that sentence. Oh, I'm sorry. All I I'm heard, sorry, I whispered that all word. I heard was oh, it's, it's the safest. Not. Me personally, I think we're in a spiritual warfare. That's why they, so many crazy things happen. Like, I oh, can't believe this happened. Now it's like, wow, wow, wow. Because it's just bouncing off one person or another. And it might not even have to do with Do we even know why they even started shooting? That's what I was saying. It might not even have anything to do with the sexuality. Just an anger that he taking out on that group. Or it could be a hate crime. I think it's a hate crime. It was a white guy. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Yeah. I yeah, mean, hold why on, did he go shoot? Hold on. For sponsoring <laughs> stuff and for people. I have nothing against white people. But let's be honest, y'all do do the most mad shootings. History shows. Okay, you know. I'm not sure I'm sure. We had our first in Atlanta, the black lady. Oh, for shot, the, shot the, the rip man. Oh, oh no, no, no. That could have been just because he got trying to increase the rent. You can't, you can't call that. <laughs> you got a rent crack. Not because. You, know, you trying to raise money for the rent. I'm ready to shoot you know, the rent crack. Yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? It's all they have to do with all the rent. He's just trying to raise the rent and everybody else raises Yeah, you're just trying to raise the rent. You just trying to compete with Nasby. Yeah, you probably deserve that bullet, but I mean, but I don't know. And he ain't living like shit. Raise the person rent, we'll get you hurt. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't consider that being hateful. Yeah. But I just think that that was crazy because um, 
it's so many groups now that I like so separated. Like when they were doing the Asian shoes, when they was doing uh, the LGBTQ shooting. Like I feel like everything is like now in groups now. Like they want to attack certain groups of people. When like it's, this is my thing. Why do you give a damn? What you eat don't make me shit. If I see another man kiss another man, I'm going to keep walking. You made me think about a point. Because you just, okay, L-B-G-T-Q. You don't see an S in there at all. They left the S out. The studs. Okay. I I don't want want to say what I thought the S stand for. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. The studs. No, the studs. I don't want to be considered hateful. But that's that's not not singling us out. I mean, we a part of the group, but we... We don't have our level. I don't know who, who the president. Who we both talk to about? I don't know you, but you sound like you might be talking. I, I think because you just get your ear included in the L. I'm not a lesbian. Now lesbians wear a pocketbook. They put lipstick on. They get the hair done, nails done. I think lesbian all different species. We not necessarily. Out. Let me tell you what studs. Lesbian like. mean if a girl likes a girl. Let me give you a little an- ancestry of the studs. It's started oh, off. Oh, okay, I'm gonna learn something. It started okay. off with. Yes, it started off with what well, you know call them the bull daggers, the wide, the wide walkers. You know the bull daggers. You know, and they talk. Whoa, 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 go back. Wide walker. Wide walker. They call them wide walker. You got, you got to explain that one to me. What did that mean? Gap legged. I'm still they wrong. consider when <laughs> the studs walk around, you know, that, that's how they, you know, walk they around and they're part of the band. They call that wide leg, yeah, the gap leg, because you're okay. trying to be a boy or whatever and what have you. But the thing about it is, no, I'm no offense to anybody, but the dykes, they were sleeping with each other. See, the studs, we strictly, we're not dealing with this either female, uh, that's it. You know, that's just where the line cuts out. The dykes, they be, they Fundled around with each other, strapped each other down. I don't know, they even fundled around with men. That's what I have known growing up. So, the era of the studs, we came out around the 90s. We around in the 90s, you know. How did some of y'all get pregnant? I want to ask that one. How did some of y'all get pregnant? <laughs> I, I know a couple of studs that got pregnant. And like Artificial insemination, you know. No, no, no. You fucked the man. I'm not, the, the studs that just fucked men and went back like. Well, then they were bisexual then. They weren't the studs. They they going back and forth with men. That's a thing. Yeah. You know, but we don't use you know, that Sometimes word. you get to hit that liquor and. No, you're still a girl on the inside. I ain't gonna do it, but I guess so. But the thing about well, I ain't gonna say I guess so because anytime I like drunk, I don't think about pussy. I ain't thinking about. I ain't never thought about no thing. <laughs> Straight okay. forward. I had a dick since Dick had me. You know, <laughs> so it ain't. Look. So you've never tried dick. I've tried it one time, but I'm saying as far as wanting, I didn't have it. You know, I've always told the joke me. about as a gay man, like. Did you even at least try pussy to see if you like it? <laughs> and I was like, you just thinking about it, you motherfuckers thinking about it. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I tried a little thing, but I'm like, damn, I can show out. I can whoa, trap you whoa, whoa, whoa. See? whoa, 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 it was, it didn't feel, I didn't feel anything. I was okay. Yeah, 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 I'm 18, yeah. okay, I'm gonna try this thing because I've been gay since I was in kindergarten, you know. I've been looking Whoa. at the teacher, you know, she all I ain't gonna call the teacher <laughs> name, but you know, oh, I was yeah. already. That, thank you, that's I, why I wanna know like, what triggered you. Okay. I, I, have a lot, I, have, I have a lot of gay people in my family. Uh-huh. I ain't calling no names, but I have a lot of gay people in my family. <laughs> why you saying what kind of name? Cause I ain't. This guy was saying my child was gay. <laughs> but how do you, how do you because most people a, a lot of people that I hear say that they turn gay by being molested by oh, hurt by me. or hurt by somebody yeah, in the family or a close yeah. family friend or something like that or even men in general but from somebody to to have it at a younger age is like yes. you know, what feeling is that like what hey, what hey, let me do tell you. <laughs> Do you see Wonder Woman and say, I don't like Spider-Man, I want Wonder Woman. Like, I'm trying to figure I it out. Wonder Woman bad the motherfucker. I wanted to play with my brother toys when we were growing up. I didn't want that. So you started out as a tomboy. I started off as a tomboy, and I've never been hurt by a man to even be feel like a oh, That's the reason. Yeah, yeah. I was forced to dress like a certain way, dress like this for my mama, and it still didn't make her even happy because that's it. I got more respect dressing the way I want to dress. You know, my grown baby got them boy color, now these my clothes on. He's mine, you know, and it, I just opened up my shell and behind who I was playing basketball. I can't run around with a long hair. I had long hair, and I just had to be me, you and know. Cleo Dreads. Yeah, and I was looking at all the girls. I love the girls. Love them. That is the first I time. I drank to that one. Man, look at <laughs> I love them like you love them. Love them. 
So like it wrong, too, about my damn I just don't, I just don't understand like to be that early. Like you knew what you want to be that early. Like, I knew what I wanted. You want. are a real deal. Like you knew what the fuck you wanted from the beginning. Yeah, I a lot of people they did, but they dabbed in and decide. I'm gonna go this way. But this is a question I got for oh. the fellas. You ready? I got a question for the fellas. Okay. I got so. Okay, go ahead. My thing for us fellas. Here, here we go. <laughs> what do you say? No, this is my thing for the fellas. I want to know if a dick is still involved. <laughs> why are we cut the fuck out? Because you're gonna put a strap on. Does what does your pleasure come from? Like just hitting her, hitting her moan, or does it play with your clean? Like my whole point is, if it's still a dick involved. Well, um, this is because really, because well, my... you studs, y'all talk a lot of shit, and I'm gonna tell you why. You be like, I fuck your gal, yeah, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't the same because you know you gonna have a plastic dick. That motherfucker go forever. Well, okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, no chaser. <laughs> I barely even use a strap. I don't have to use a strap. Huh? I'm just blessed. Damn! I'm going to I'm a drink to that. Uh, I'm going to drink to it, too. I mean, that, I that, you know, you don't, don't shit talk like that, then we ain't finna clean some glasses, nigga. I ain't have to use one. Ooh, wow. So, what do you do? Down down. Hold on. What you mean, blessed down there? We your click turn to a Grown ass man. man. Good she got a grown ass man. She got a deep on you. She got a deep on you. Yeah, it's just like, because I don't have, I mean, I've used one before, but it's not something that we have to have. You know, I'm just. So what is the stud pleasures come in at? Well, see, what no, we're we're I want you to know we're right now we're educating the people. Cause mentally, people mentally, like if you watching the, you watching porn and you touch yourself and watch porn, you can get yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's just like a mental you hear and feel. And it's not only that. If I get a little deeper in it with a strap on, it is. Some of them have vibrators on them, like where not vibrators where it's going inside, but like a little bullet or whatever. But it's more like the motion, you know, because that pussy gonna grip on that dick and it's gonna pull a little traction on it. She's gonna have to have a little sex session, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, 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 no, that's my show. That, but what <laughs> I wanna know, see, I wanna ask the question, I wanna ask the questions that's that most people show. don't get to sit their friend out and ask them or get to sit a uh, person that is, you know what I'm saying, a dyke and ask them, hey man, I'm confused because coming from a male point of view, I don't get, you know what I'm saying, because I feel like, but so not all the time they're using the strap. Um, that's what me. I so that's what I'm asking. Guys, I don't think so that's what I'm asking, asking for the people because I you have to educate us, us, us people. The strap on is more of a it's more of a thrust of the pelvic, just like you hunch with somebody. It's so like therefore, how do you get off? Just like you hunch with somebody, you hunch your pants up and yeah. you do it that clothes way. Clothes burning. Clothes burning. There you go. Clothes burning. Or you got the pants on and just hunching. Click and the click. Climax is just click the click. That all that stuff. You know. Okay. Sometimes okay. it's penetration. You know. Okay. Not strap on, you know. I still think my head game better than yours. Nah, I think one knee that thing pretty good. I think I think I can do it pretty and, good. And, and, and I've heard that. I heard that. Let me tell you why I heard that. And I heard that because a woman knows what another what woman, woman likes, yeah. and they know they, they know the spots to get to. They don't want that. Okay, give me some game. Fuck that. <laughs> today we finna learn. Once you get under that, look. You can't get in the kitchen. Today I'm sipping and tripping. We tripping right there. She's finna teach us. This no, she gonna get, teach you. She finna. This ain't I, you're right. I'm gonna do this show right now. <laughs> She's she, teaching you. I know the flu's in the room. He wants to know too. He wanna know too. We wanna know. Get, we wanna know. Get I ain't gonna give y'all all the game. No, let's get Look, just give us. Look, so the kid, give me a little game. Give me a little bit of a look so that I can keep some bad. Let me take mine up a notch a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I'm going to show you that my dude, if you don't do what she say, do. I'm at that. Okay, I'm going to be out of I don't want people to get the episode and be like, yeah, she right. For the other girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll be like, yep, she right. And I want all the dudes. Tell me the fingers again so I can tell them how to do it. Yeah, I want all the dudes. Come here, my man. Come here, my man. It, but it, now, if you take that finger like that and you go up in there like this is the giant. Is it the This is the giant. Okay, this is the giant. And you go up in there. And it's like one little hook right there. Pressure. You know just that. hold yes. it like that. Just hold it. Just pressure it. That's it. That's it. Just hold it. That's, you all, eat? that's, a, that's the only one I'm giving. Okay, true. But do I eat it while I'm doing the pressure? Yes, that'll take it crazy. But you got to make sure you're going in circles with it. You got to go circles around it. You know, we got well, circles around the clip. Yes, I'll run. So I'll circle. You giving too much so, information. I'm giving too much Hush it. I'm trying to learn. I gave you one. That's it. I ain't got no more for you. Sister, you see what I'm talking about? They don't want us to be better than you. They don't want us to be better than you. No. Okay. Because I don't. 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 I
be our Sean. whole conversation the rest of the night. No, it won't. Because Sean. I, yes, it will. Because you're going to keep asking. Sean, no, asking. no. I, I'm going to learn. And ask it. I'm not going to. The scene fell for it yet. No, I'm going to be like, she said, what now? No. <laughs> I'm going to come back to this <laughs> microphone. <laughs> Look, I'm going to run downstairs through this. Okay, she's sick. All right. <laughs> yeah. And I'm running back upstairs. <laughs> but my thing, I was asking the questions that people want to know. Because as men, we be wanting to know. Because you are a girl, so I understand you get and know what it takes to pleasure a woman. I be wanting to know too. Mm -hmm. This shit is like an untouched science with us. We want to know sometimes what to do. We want to know sometimes, okay, what other trick can I pull out? I'm going to be doing this shit and do that shit. She'd be like, oh my God. And then he'd be like, after that, he'd be like, oh, and he broke dick too. Like, I want to be able to do that. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he broke dick too. Like, he didn't bring a good head there. He broke dick too. too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so I can't give you all the rest of the game. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got to keep okay. with the game. So I ain't going to give them nothing else. But uh, <laughs> on that subject, you're talking about when women be dressed and they be flipping and yeah. confusing and stuff. I'm going to reiterate what how I did it. You know, in, back in my city in Chattanooga, they've seen me dress like a woman, like the eyebrows done, dress like a woman. I think you would make a cute girl. But I did that because I, I was hiding. I was on DL. I was hiding. Okay. I was uh, in my former life a hoe. A yeah. Pimp. And had hoes. I think so we had a lot of hoes. Wait, they, they, me and the could not tell that, you know, I'm dressed like a girl. She ain't gonna call me down. You don't know it got be boxes on the front of this dress. You know what I mean? You know, I'm dressed in disguise, you know. Oh, what? In disguise, baby. You know, we do briefs now, right? You gotta catch up with this man. Yeah, I yeah. said, yeah, I have briefs on, yeah. Right. Right. Okay. yeah okay. But she said that they had boxes. They had boxes on there. They had boxes. They had boxes on there. Yeah, boxes on there. I remember no boxes there. I was going in the gas station. I had on my pocket hood. They're like, look at I ain't gonna say the name of the big lady called me. They was like, man, she still pimp. She got them hoes, man. Don't fall for that. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Got them you gotta tell the people off. this nickname. I gotta know this nickname. What are you talking about? Uh uh, Sean, we got to know this nickname. You ain't gonna skip that part. You know how you try to skip that part? I ain't gonna tell you that. No, you gotta tell us nickname. No, because no, I, I had to grow from that name. I had to grow to become who I am. I, we know who we talk to now. To <laughs> well, if I tell you my nickname, give us a little bit. My whole days, can I? Your name There's a lot of pain associated too. with that name and a lot of mine too. You no, know, that that name I I had to grow from it. I had started a whole new person. Okay, you know that person has risked. We don't want her back out there. She pimped them hoes. She had them hoes <laughs> driving the Cadillac. Motherfucking no. The kid, you know, you know I was molested as a child. Whoa, yes. no, I didn't know that. Yes, for Drake, if you watching this, you you open up some doors. You done this, and that was for Drake. I hope she watches this. Well, I ain't gonna call my that's who, that's, who, that's who took my innocence. Yeah, you know it it took you your body. I don't think nobody took nothing. I think you gave it to him. You, yeah, know, yeah, you, yeah, know, yeah, you yeah. know why you think it? It's cool for Drake. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I believe, believe that. Let, for, now, since at eight years old, at eight years old, at eight years old, you should you might want to bleep my name. Bleep that. You know, he just telling me. I'm 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 bright. Look, look, we are honest show here. This is what we do. We be honest. We talk about well, real time. Honest. You know, but Trigger took my innocence. <laughs> and then the bad part, she was my baby suit. Damn, I was five when I first. You know what? Well, you know what a man. Is, you know what a man is right. Oh, young. It's Wait considered. A you know what a man is right or a boy is right. It's considered. Oh, he like that. Yeah, it's very easy to say that. Yeah, it's very pleasurable. It's not like when we stop and we kill some gun. Yeah. Well, you know it'll be good. <laughs> But I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> you wasn't ready. I yeah. wasn't ready. Then, I, 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 eight, eight years old, I'm not ready. Yeah, he wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't either. But it kept happening to me, and um, I loved it. It was every summer for it. I loved you it. You was raped too. I wasn't raped. Oh, okay. I, I volunteered. Who's the willing? I can't wait to go to the summer party. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't raped. 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 Yeah, I w
Hey, bro, right. I was doing, bro, I was out there cutting grass. I was doing anything. I was damn the slave boy. I didn't want to do put. Would you do that little thing you did for me? Little thing, thing you did for me again? Uh, that, little, that shit was serious. That little one thing you did. That's why I think needs a holiday. <laughs> the first woman that gave hit because she started an epidemic. She needs a holiday. She should be respected like all the rest of the veterans. Some veteran head is real good too. <laughs> Does that mean old head or from a hoe? Yes, old head, veteran. That veteran head. I mean, from an older person yeah, or from a hoe? Because a hoe could be a veteran to be young. Oh no, no, old head, old head. Okay, okay. Ones that got the. Uh, the plastic sheet. The, 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 oh, that's shit. Yeah, okay. Oh. Not the one that got it. Not the plastic. The plastic <laughs> coming out with the fruit the on the table. Yeah. With the nuts and the fruit. But you like. Oh, she trying to feed you something they get on a Tuesday. <laughs> you want some mac and cheese and ham, baby? And you want some Yeah, you want some beef tips, baby? Ham, greens, lettuce, mayo, spring, spring. Yeah, man! Hey, you ain't supposed to feed a nigga no shit like it on a Tuesday. Come on, that Mabel. I can't be eating that shit. Mabel. Yeah, Mabel. I can't be this shit, Mabel. It's fucking Wednesday. I don't want no fucking Sunday dinner on Wednesday, Mabel. Right, right. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you do that, when you mess with certain people, man. Like, I feel like the way things are now. Like, how do you feel about polygamy? Well, I really can't say anything because I just, hey, I just got out of a marriage, you know? And it's just been me, so. So how, See, do you, I, how do you feel about it? I love it. I think, this is my thing. I love it, I just can't afford it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of women that you got to deal with. You got to deal with her attitude, her attitude. I, I'll take two attitudes. I'll, I'll never take two attitudes. That's why I never cheated in my marriage. I, uh, you know, oh, see, so I hear this. Out. If you give the kid a pussy, she will be good to you. That's that's what they're trying to tell you right now. The kid is a good person. She, she's not a cheater. I used to be, yeah. But I just got down. Look, I spoke highly of you, and you just <laughs> told the shit down in two seconds. That's in the pivot day, baby. But you had to give a praise, and in two seconds later, she like, "We got one shit." Listen, listen. When she, she, she come around with a perm and and a wrap and a book satchel, just know I got somebody wife. And a bush yeah. satchel. Yeah. Just know she on the cover. Hold on, hold on. She on the cover. So hold on. She about to fuck you up. This is what I want to know. Why do y'all be wrecking homes? Like why? What? What is the? I noticed a lot of studs. <coughs> Take two, man. True, but why do y'all go so much for other people's women, other men's women? I know a lot of studs always tell me I take your bitch, well, and I'm pretty sure they all I took it a lot of bitches. It's like my thing is no fuck chess. This is the thing about it. You gonna be one of us? Nigga, learn the G codes. That's why I wanna die. But if your girl going, I want. Go this is what I wanna do. I wanna mm -hmm. teach y'all the G code. Okay, because. Y'all is being studs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Y'all y'all can take a nigga bit. I get that. But as a G-code, because you're going to be one of us men, and we're going to go for the bitches and shit, I need you to learn the rules to engagement. And in the rules of engagement, what you do is you leave other niggas pussy alone. Well, let me tell you this. Sometimes the, the men, that men, they have a part in it. You gonna try to How are you going to try to flex on me? We ain't going to try to fight if I don't flex, And I take though. your bitch. I take your hold bitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I don't flex, though? Don't worry about all that. What, 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 what if the woman? Is sometimes I be the woman, you know, curious about. Ooh. And that's cool, but Do what? You stand up but, and pee and all that other stuff. Yeah, but what? what, what, what do you, you want to say? Out with the stress, the favorite question. That's how. That's the loophole right there. But what you get out of this chat phone? That's the. Favorite but you gotta question. understand, man. Y'all gotta learn. Sure, <laughs> but what y'all gotta do is learn to leave other niggas' bitches alone. Y'all are habitual lying. I steps. can agree with that on those studs that do that. You know, but hey. Nah, you already said it. You want them they, to. I don't take bitches. I don't take my bitches. Didn't she just say two seconds ago? I said no. my former life. She said her former life. Like she was a pimp. I was a pimp, and I was fucking them whole. Okay, pimping as pimping mm -hmm. as in you sold girls out for money. That's yes. pimping. Husbands, baby daddies. What I, the fuck you I had? had them all. I said, I'm, I'm glad I'm this far away from you. I don't want you turkey me out. Yeah, it was a boy. I don't want her turning me the fuck Let's get on this money train. I, I don't need you turning me the fuck out. That's what I told you. Hey, what about that on Friday? I'm the boy. I'm trying to take a, a, take a, a man, bitch, you know, just to Why not get him out. Want? Let's see. We don't know bitches. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean no harm. We 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 don't know a bitches' name. No, you're fine. We don't know a name. Yeah, yeah. We know a name. It was Christy. We'll say Christy. We'll I, I, I respect that though. Just like studs don't like be kind of nice. 
Dykes and scissors. They might know, they can't use the words. Okay, I wouldn't use those words. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you the other words what I thought yeah. when you said the S's. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, uh, I don't wanna say what I was thinking. <laughs> what you think? But you say it. I, I, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, sissy. I'm not gonna say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah. No. We don't use them. Hold on, because once, once we do that, here, I'm sipping a tripper. Hold on, one second. Here, I'm gonna say, here, I'm sipping a tripper. We don't discriminate against anybody. We love everybody here. All right, go ahead. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we'll make sure we clear it up. But yeah, so then that's what gets a lot of studs killed and stuff when they getting out there and, and playing that dirty game. But sometimes a fella be like, cool if he, you can smash, the, you know what I'm saying? So basically, what you tell me, you're sometimes. the wrong person to fight to a threesome. <laughs> I'm gonna I, now. And the last time I was invited, it didn't go too well because <laughs> he thought he gonna smash me, and he ain't never heard her holler like that. He ain't never seen them kind of shits going on. Just put the hook on. Boston crab, put ass in the Boston crab. <laughs> <laughs> put ass in the Boston crab, like a four girl. Holy <laughs> shit! Holy shit! I ain't with the gay shit. So that's why I, I done did it like three threesomes and after that it was just that gay shit because niggas looking why are you looking at me? Won't be looking at me? That's nasty. No, oh, 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 it's not, no, it's head. not you gotta forget you have titties. <laughs> okay. I want you to ask ask for. I, I understand. I understand. Damn, hey, you know what got them. God make mistakes too. Um, <laughs> that's why I went to jail. Yeah. I'm the titties. They said I they said I said I'm gonna kick everybody in the uh surgeon's office if they don't do my titties. You mean tell I told I'm gonna kick everybody ass down cut these titties? You think I'm gonna trust you after that? Lying I didn't trust my titties. I was about to do a review. When I did that review, I ended up going to jail behind that shit. And I just stuck <laughs> behind, you know, just, just, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I would never shut my mouth again. I would never let my mouth sound me. And still got the titties. Went to jail. Look, still got still titties. Titties still there. You know they say stud means still titties under there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on tequila. Tequila. I'm, not, I'm on tequila right now. I drink today. That's my nigga. I'm on tequila right now. Let me find out we twin. I'm, I'm your brother. You might be. <laughs> From <laughs> another mother. <laughs> <You might be. laughs> can we collab on two Damn, I'm sorry, we we gonna, I just don't. Let's don't get rid can of titties. Can you just be the bro? Don't get rid of the titties, though. Uh-uh. These motherfuckers head my new motherfucker back. No, God right. gave you a nice rack. Don't that's get it. That's just walking around. That's like walking around with five pounds and you holding them right here. We can't even run. <laughs> Tina just jumping. That's us. Uh, Ten them. shot. And you dance, you don't want them doing that? No. I want them to be flat. You know what I'm saying? My shirt a little better. It'll go straight down. Okay, I'm gonna be messing real quick. <laughs> straight down. Tequila. I'm over it. it. <laughs> you know Sean, right? You know sort of miss certified. Oh. The way he said it, be no so extra. Oh, extra. That's what makes that's what makes it good. That's what makes me me. Okay, now, Miss Certified. <laughs> you think you can turn Miss Certified out? Why do I have to be the subject of the I'm the only guy on the show today. Think so, or okay. do I know? Wow. I'm gonna say think because Shaw's a Every woman in this world Ms. can be certified. How about we gonna sing a high? We can say every woman can. No, nah, I'm gonna sing her out right here on the show. You wanna sing her out? Yeah, I never wanna sing her out. Yeah. Because it makes a good show. 
Then I'm gonna ask her, can she turn you out? What? Yeah. That would just be regular fucking. <laughs> At that point, it'd be regular fucking. I mean, nah, no, because I ain't taking no dick. <laughs> oh, what the, what the fuck am I gonna do? I'm gonna sit and play panic. You look at me. My dick in the trunk right now. I'm talking about. Now you like the box. Listen, listen, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to roll. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you used to. <laughs> She said it's so funny. Listen, we got to make some money here. I can't Listen. Okay. She said in the trunk. In, in a Nike box. Like, in a Nike box. She, she put her dick. Swoosh, she put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one nigga's hand. She's funny. She put her dick in one Look at that Nike box and give me them shoes. <laughs> I, I picked up the wrong box. I the wrong, and, strap. and it's a strap. I, I, number one, I don't think she had nothing but that one box. <laughs> okay. Whatever Nike shoes she got this on her fucking feet. I don't think at all that that motherfucker, you gonna pick up the wrong box. box. See? She, she know what she said. She like, you get that box. I think that box up, and you know what that mean, man. You know exactly what the fuck that means. Yeah. This is one of the things that has been a very topic when it comes to the studs. Okay. So let's say me and you start dating. I go to the store buy this new strap, two hundred dollar strap. You know what I'm saying? Two hundred dollars. Yeah, you want a real? You want a motherfucking? It don't even look like your cause You don't have some this color in there. Right, you can borrow mine. You match my color. You can borrow mine. You gotta remember. You gotta remember. This imagination, baby. This is mine, man. That's how we gonna do that shit. Okay, the, the challenge old, more sexy to you. The old me like the like the challenge. Yeah. But I learned not to like the challenge because once you get they get crazy as hell. Once they see what the life is like over that rainbow, I like a lesbian. Okay. Yes, a lesbian. That means she don't want no thing. She don't want none of that. Have you ever had one get pregnant on you and go fuck a dude? I like I be messing around and all of a sudden she come back knocked up or she likes to do dick like basically bye. No. You don't do body. You like women that don't like nothing else but strictly pussy. Strictly pussy. Whatever this shit is. I can sit on her face. So you take some. Oh, yeah, we sit down like a nice gentleman. (laughs) Sit down like a gentleman. Sit down like a gentleman. That nigga said we sit down like a gentleman. Y'all got me on this drink. So oh, you that, got you on there. That's why it's called you for the tripping. You was somebody about to the drink over there. So you forgot you was drinking before you got here. I, did you forget? No, that was my first drink. Soon as I say, yeah, that but you good. you were still drinking it when you walked through the door. So that was before you got in here. Yeah, we got some good ass toppers around here though. Yeah, and that's what we do. This is hey, this sipping and tripping. Yes, but I love we keep it authentic, baby. I love it. And but at the end of the day, I like what we talking about. May see it crazy some people. But there's somebody out here who's just as curious as my ass is asking curious. these questions. I don't know these it's just, yeah, because they want to know. Like, like I have, like I said, I have cousins that are studs, and I be want, I want to ask them. Like, I have a couple of cousins that I'm kind of close to, and some that I'm not. Mm-hmm. But you know, we still communicate when we communicate, mm-hmm. and I want to ask them why. How did you get to this era? Like. But again, it's not my business. I'm not gonna judge them. Whatever you decide is what you decide. You You're still my cousin. I wanna ask. Sometimes it come from peer pressure from the family. I always looking like she always just like boy. That that right there make you want to be who you are even more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, need, you need to dress pretty. My mom still to this day. I got a comedy show in Chattanooga Saturday. She was like, you need to dress pretty. Girl, hush. I'm gonna be handsome so I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me be handsome. And I'm gonna be pretty. What you say? I used to be when I grew up. I was a tomboy. Mm-hmm. Like when I moved to Atlanta, my baby boy was probably two years old. That's when I started dressing feminine. Mm-hmm. I was always tennis shoes, jogging pants. You know, like I was a a casual. Tomboy, mm-hmm. where I dress in between. 
You know what I mean? Girl, yeah, they care what they're talking about. But, you start out by the tomboy and then you jump off the porch. Because I played ball too. I, I played ball too. I did all of that. Mm -hmm. I ran track. I did all of that. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, when you said you was a tomboy growing up, I was a tomboy growing up too, but I couldn't never vision myself. I'm just speaking of me. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging you with anything because whatever you do is what you do. I'm still going to commend you for that. Mm -hmm. You taking bitches, take them. Because apparently then they ain't doing that. I, I don't like that. But well, I'm sorry. You play sports, I feel like we should hold hunt together. I'm sorry if you don't know, like that. That belongs to people. But since you play sports, you become very dominant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I can never find a man that can treat me how I would treat a woman. You know, you got to have more game than me to even try to come at me. You know what I mean? Right, right. And it's just, hey, it's more comfortable. And, I, and, and I've I want hung you around a lot of lesbians. I've hung around a lot of... I've hung around a lot of lesbians. What you call lesbians is women that like I was men. Day, I didn't want to be like bisexuals. Oh, those are bisexuals. Yeah, I like didn't, men and women. See, I was so small minded. I didn't like lesbians. I'm like somebody else on tap. Somebody already molded her. She already the way she is and everything. But my first lesbian married her ass. You know. <laughs> I love you, girl. I like they get home. Some, I like they get home some good pussy out there. You and there you right do that now. too. <laughs> so, but sir, now. I want you to, to get. I want you to vouch me on this. Certified, you have some of the smoothest and prettiest skin I've ever seen in my face. Like you don't have a blemish on you. I'm just looking at your face. I just want the people to know that Certified's face is unblemished. Like this motherfucker here. Yeah, this I is, this swear. is not a filter. Yeah. That's an oil lay. Yeah, whatever you no, using, no, I need you that. to tell me after the show. Like seriously. <laughs> I, I don't use Certified. You have. You know, like, 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 like she. You can tell she's never well, been smacked. Like younger too. <laughs> you can tell she's never been smacked. She's never been mishandled. Oh, yeah. from the Cigarette put out on her. Yeah, none of that shit. You can tell you don't. This is a fucking cigarette. He never took a cigarette. I just want the people to know. I'm in prison for the rest of my fucking life. You look like, like we, but no, nah, but she looked like we got a whole makeup crew here though. Cause you, your face is clear. She got a brain. She got a face beat, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you don't have a mark on that. You have very smooth skin. Like I'm super I'm fucking jealous. Figure out why is y'all talking about me right now? No, no, no. Yeah, part of the show. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm random. No. I just want to say. <laughs> come come on, this show. Time, I, I know, but every time I talk to you, look at you. I'm like, this motherfucker ain't feel a day in her life. Like this, like you have a protective <laughs> bubble over her face. The whole, <laughs> not a mark on that son bitch. Like ain't no nigga ever done nothing. You making up blood? <laughs> no, it's certified. You got some smooth skin. I mean, thank you. Yeah, like it. I, don't know I, I can't tell you what I use because they don't pay us. So and, and, yeah, and you're not supposed to. That's with, why some ask after the show. With that being I said, I won't take no after the show. But it's it's nothing that I do. Like I, it's nothing that I do every day. So that is some smooth. I mean, She's one of them. If black don't crack with the face, it will be your ass. Because <laughs> probably like you ain't never ever had a pimple ever. <laughs> No, she said like it was like it was hard to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a couple times. <laughs> oh my. Most God. important thing is to keep your skin up. Please do not put your washcloths on your face. That's the key. Okay, especially turn. after you washed your vagina. You know, you grow up. Your mom be like, "Why did you ask me?" I'm gonna ask what you've been thinking. What's a turn off for you? What's a turn off? What's a turn off for you, as far as women? A woman that try to play games of see if you. You know what I'm saying? Out there like that. You know that the little games and shit. You know, let's be mm -hmm. up for it with it. That's that's one of the biggest turn off. The immature. That shit is a big turn off. When a woman is too strong, you know what I'm strong ass woman. You know, they can buy, they can dominate my ass. You know what I'm saying? What about 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 you gotta keep social media out there, you know, because like when I got married, I was putting it all over Facebook and everything. That, yeah. that was, was happy then. They right? couldn't wait. I mean, when you post some good <laughs> shit, they don't like that shit. But when you post some bad shit, they liking all that. And I learned to keep my shit out of social media. You know, like if I get married again, I would never post it on Facebook. So you'll definitely open the love again. Yes, yeah, definitely, definitely. When y'all hear this, it's straight from from her mouth. She is definitely open for love. She well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give, give, give me, give me, give me your social media. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> She's like, the pimp is open. I'm just trying to change shit. You're open to love. Open, but I'm not open to love for nobody out there in the world. I'm, I'm going to keep it just like I got it. Oh, I'm definitely. Not, so whatever love you got going on, you're going to keep it to yourself. Me. Yeah. Okay. So you, we, don't want, we don't want nobody to reach out to you is what you're telling us? Yeah. I'm off the market. Oh, you off the there market. There it is. That's going to make them want you even more. I, well, shit, I'm off the market, too. Look, it's me. <laughs> 
I'm off the market. <laughs> I'm off the market too. What about you? I'm not. I'm not going to do all that. I'm you, 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 you're, 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 you're locked up. You're off the market. I'm just a personal Say you got a pinky out there. I got a pinky out there in the world. No, I'm gonna say nothing. I'm, I'm just gonna say that what I've learned is just keep your business to yourself. When I was married, I did the same thing you did. I put her, posted her all the time. Then be mad at her the same day. I hate her picture. Everybody like it. I don't even like her. I'm mad at her. You know, yeah. and then. Putting angry faces on. I think sometimes <laughs> you know, when you do that. Come on now, your own picture. I think sometimes when you do that, you open the door. You open the door for opinions. You open the door for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People to be in your business. Yeah. And I think social media is a platform to market your business, make money, and stuff like that. It's not yeah. for your personal. That's how I lost my Whoever you're with is your personal business. Yeah. Because, like you said earlier, people love to see you fucked up. People don't love it. When you happy, you get less likes. Don't like me and Bay. You know, Beyonce and Beyonce. She took me out to eat. They can't stand <laughs> oh, it. Hey, hey, hey. I put that bitch out. I ain't paid for nothing at that table. Everybody was liking and loving and laughing and hee hee ha ha. I don't shit. blame you. <laughs> and they sit up there doing the but same thing. But we time. know, but we know people love, honestly, we love drama. Me That's why I watch it. You know why I love hip love and hip hop? I love to see a bunch of bad bitches with big asses going at it. I can't help it. I love that fucking show. That's, that is my soap opera. I don't even watch TV. Do you understand how, if you cannot call me Monday at 7, don't fucking bother me. I'm going to sing an ass machine. Why? Because it's love and hip hop. I watch Real Housewives of Potomac. I watch Real uh, Housewives of Atlanta. You know, I got time to do all this. These, I take the time. That's my me time. You know how your grandma used to watch her soaps? Oh yeah. These are you my soaps. Be quiet. Lay your head yeah. down. Don't bother me. One life to live. I was Look gonna here. kill. If man. the house get caught on fire, as long as it's not close to me, leave me the fuck alone. Like if it's in the if it's in the kitchen, like I'm. As long like, as the TV ain't burning down. Hey, I'm good. Leave me alone. Good. Leave me alone. You better, you better put that shit out. But the next thing I want to go to, y'all heard about this girl? Uh, I I don't know her name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The girl who got killed in Mexico by her friends. Oh, now, they weren't her motherfucking friends. They were not her friends. Definitely, they weren't her friends, but they were considered her friends when they left. When she got the plane ticket, they was her friends. When they landed, they was her friends. When they got in that hotel room, that's when they kind of quit. You know. That's messed up. Oh, right so, what I want to do is, I want to give us another break. I'm having a ball with tequila. You ready to end this yet? I don't know. I'm fine. I'm, we're going to keep this going. We're going to go to break. We're going to pay these bills. We're coming back, man. And sip it. And tripping. And tripping. We're going to be right back with Tequila Road, man. All right? Yeah, we came to have a good time tonight. Why don't you be Jeffrey Dahmer? We in the week. I ain't being no motherfucking Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm eating up a pussy, baby. If Jeffrey Dahmer got arrested for pussy, I would have been here. Hey, he but there ain't no crime of eating coochie. The, I'm telling the, you, baby, there ain't no crime of eating coochie. He ate the brain like it was some steak. No, baby. He coochie like it's some Baby, look at whatever you suck dick for steak is your personal business. Don't come up here fucking up my show because I don't eat pussy. I don't know what the hell you talking about. You know, that's the only thing I eat. And that ain't a crime yet. Okay. Welcome back to the third part of Sipping and Trippin'. Man, with your boy Slick Baby the Comedian, me is certified. And our guest has been having me rolling today. Who has put us up on game today? One of my favorite fucking comedians. How you doing, Mr. Killaroon? I'm doing pretty good. I'm in the other leg. Nigga, you have I'm had. I'm in the other leg. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I am in Wait a minute. You have had me rolling, man. I swear for God. Now, before, now if you've been watching the show, you gotta watch the show now. Now, she done put us yeah, niggas up on game. Just a little something to keep out here. Three steps. Just something to hold on to for yeah. a while for the holidays. I want to make it's sure. Cold now. Look, now the holidays come. You get to a house, a place to stay, a roof on the house. Christmas gifts ain't going to do yeah. nothing. You better be able to. Now, since the holidays is coming, to make sure my bitch don't run off. <laughs> okay. it's, it, it's these two, not these two. Because my man's over here thought it was these two. He thought it was this. None come of here. this. None of this come here. This. Remember this? Come here, girl. Now, wait, wait, See, wait, all this move yeah. at the same damn time. Leave me alone. It's arthritis, man. I'm old. Uh, you stick these two. And I, and I told her, come here. No. No, I hold it. All four. See, I stick there. No, no, I'm just Don't trying to make sure. Don't be with it. No. Don't be coming at this goddamn dog. <laughs> they want to make him go crazy. Okay, show me. I got to be gentle. Get her at the end with that. At the, the end, at the end, don't start off with that, So, me. So, eat the pussy and then wait come close to the end. Towards the end of it. And then I just gave her the dick and she think it's over with. It'll oh, he brought head to I done gave you another damn tip. So, look, look. Right here. Make sure I'm right. Right here. 
Four. Give me two. Come on, dude. Hold, look, hold back pressure. And now she said go in circle the most stud segment of the <laughs> 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 I just want to make sure. I'm tr See what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to do still prevent. I'm trying to make sure that I got enough. Secrets. You can't take us down, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You stay, goddamn. They love us. They love I'm us. I'm not trying to take you down. I'm trying to make sure you don't take mine. Okay. I'm not trying to make sure you don't take mine. This is still prevent. So I just want to make sure them two hook hold. Yeah. But <laughs> something. She okay, hold on. Told you to go in circular motion. I was paying attention because I'm trying I to tell my it, nigga what to do. Look, get back to that. But I don't say that. But, but sis, it's the circular motion. Is that is that the tall circular motion? Don't suck on the clip. You know what I've noticed? If you like me to eat the vagina, if you like me to eat the vagina <laughs> more, the stuff you need to be mad at me. I'm telling you too much. No, I, I got a question. Yeah, how do we have enough get y'all bitches? Yeah, they, 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 they know what you say. Sure. That's like telling my homeboy, hey man, you want to fuck my bitch, do this. Like, that don't make we sense. Never, we did, we did, but we shared. You want to bust them. Let me tell you what I did. We got to share these secrets. I'm going to let them argue about it. No, we're not arguing. I mean, <laughs> look, I don't want her to know, you got to understand, when you a stud, you a nigga. Okay, so by you being a nigga, we're the same for Kate. I'm not going to tell my homeboy how to get my own. Y'all don't make us feel like we're on the same team. I'm telling you now. A nigga walk by with his girl. And he always turn back to look and see if I'm looking at ass. Yes, I'm looking at ass, and I'm looking at yours too. Now go on, tight booty. Oh, I'm looking at yours too, <laughs> Well, she dead for a little bit. I got I got a heal ass. Ain't nothing. It wasn't nothing I can do. Yeah, that nigga yeah. should be so tight. I need a cushion on my toilet seat, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you, this ain't the ass you looking at. You ain't, I guarantee you ain't looking at this one. My pants sag not because I'm trying to. It's because ain't shit to hold that bitch the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. I got a belt on. This shit's still saying. Man, I got a belt on my goddamn box. I think what's it? I about that elastic don't work for me. I bend over and I don't got them in plumber butt. I'm, I don't have no ass. I'm, I'm cool with it. that. I'm sick of it. I'm cool with that. Now, back to what we were saying. Let's go back to the serious thing. We're going to get serious for two yeah, seconds. Let's get for two seconds. We went from goddamn ass cheeks to let's be serious. <laughs> let's talk about some shit, man. Yeah. Ass cheeks to now. <laughs> you been a gateway by 10 tips. No, 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 no. You are fired in the stud community. I know. No, no, you're not. No, 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 no. The hell I'm she's not. Y'all too much. Look, right now she is gaining men in the community. <laughs> it ain't just me. You think all these niggas they got their phones on? Everybody, everybody in this room wanted their notes. Right now, bitch getting hooked right now. Yeah, right. No, she. Yeah, she probably get hooked right now. Soon as this fucking air, this is gonna definitely get hooked. I'm telling you, every nigga well, be doing this. Not this nigga. One thing this, you can this do is call and thank you for it. This yeah. is the right way. Wrong way, right way. I just want to make sure we show it this, okay? You got to hook and hold. Can you hold those three fingers back so they don't tell move right? You tell the whole world. You got to keep it a secret. I got to put my boys on. Hold on, let a nigga come and put that on your girl then. She, he might hook it better than you. <laughs> you can't tell that about then. Yeah, my girl then. This thing might be long as yours. Yeah, I got some long ass fingers. That's one thing about it. I, I, I hope you. the bitch give us syphilis. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, I could be take mine. I hope that it got rid of pussy don't please you. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hope you'll pull that bitch out. What is this white shit? <laughs> I ain't came yet. You ain't came yet, are you? Mm. That's that got real. <laughs> I gotta start messing with, with dysfunctional pussy and so niggas don't want that shit. Mm. <laughs> All right then. No, I'm just saying. Drink it right along. We yeah, we say drink it right along. Drink it right along. But I want to talk about the girl in Mexico, the one that was uh, lured down there by her friends. And uh, oh, shout out to her parents and her family. My condolences go out definitely may she because rest I'm in sorry. Peace. Yeah, may she rest in peace. I'm sorry for what happened. They're doing their damn job too. Yeah, they I, I just shit. don't like. I, I don't understand at this point. I can hate you so much. I want you dead. Like I can. It's I now. I can, hold on. I got a lot of hate for people. But it's a lot. I never hated nobody. I do. I do all the time. So I made you that bad? Yeah, all the time. And can I have that kind of control of your emotions? Cause never had no control of my emotions. That is a control I can of hate you and move on with life. If I can make you hate, no, because you're going to remember that you hate me. That takes when I see you. to hate somebody. Yeah, but you understand, I'm going to hate you until I see you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not throwing yeah, the emotions I'm, I'm scrubbing down you. your pain. You, yeah, when you see me, you definitely got control. But if you don't hate me, they have no control. But it ain't, the power. it ain't that serious control. I just might want to trip you or something in the club and see you a bad drink. Or some shit. Yeah, I, I don't want to do nothing serious. I mean, I, I'm not, I want you dead, okay? I just don't like you. You know, I, I'm not the type of person that I want to see harm come to a person I just don't like it. 
They was jealous, and when somebody is doing really good and elevating, and y'all all doing come from the same thing, and you're doing even greater than me. Yeah. You can't. When you looking, you gotta look straight. What happened to that woman? You looking at the peripheral vision, and you're looking at somebody else's career. You're gonna down yourself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you can't look above yourself because yeah. you got that egotistical, goddamn pride that'll yeah. knock that shit down. I had all that. Boom, boom. It's just peripheral. You know hate the person to me that bad. She had some stuff going so. for her. That was definitely some hate. Like I don't understand how you hate a person so much you want them dead. Like when I seen the video of them people fighting that girl, she wasn't even fighting back. How do you, how do you hate scary. somebody so much that you pretend to be their friend? They for hurt so themselves. Long? And I make it excuse because it was a friend. But it's, it hurt But I mean, for five years, like her best friend, five we, years. We have to understand. Friends, we have to understand. A lot of people are not friends. Some people are only loyal to you to a fault. They love to you because of what you do for them or what hanging around you brings to them. I don't think it has nothing to do with it actually being Let me tell you something. Well, if them. anybody ever hate me that way, please just leave me out your life. Because yeah. I they promise not, you, some people going to come out. Everybody attached yeah. to somebody for a reason. Yeah. But they, this, this girl, she was young. I and hope. Said, the people and, who and she it. really uh -huh. thought she had friends. And I, I feel yeah. so bad for her and her family yeah. because... Apparently, they thought they was her friends, too. I hope the people who ever done it, too, I hope that they suffer the worst kind of punishment possible because I think they'll definitely get it because one day in Mexican jail. Especially the guys. Because yeah, in the Mexican jail, it. baby, you... you know, right now, they're trying to look at it as a femicide, and that's definitely not the way to go because they're trying to cover up where the... the where the Mexican the, police... The hospital, the auto, they try to cover it up. That's why they paid them out to try to hush it up, but they didn't know that they were going to do another autopsy and pay the extra money to send that body back. Do you realize? Yeah, because it costs a lot of money. Yeah, to so right now they're on the investigation. Though. Right, with, exactly. with the investigation that we've seen so far, it looks premeditated. And by being premeditated, can you imagine spending the rest of your life in a Mexican jail? You can't even yeah. understand. But the, the, but the, the thing about it is, the thing about it is, they they have they're gonna be. Um, Number shit, I don't like on Casamigo. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm you imagine that. getting that shit every day like getting the worst part of it <laughs> no but listen <laughs> they're, they're, they're gonna the be I believe yeah, they're gonna be tried place. in the states because of the simple fact is when they ruled her in Mexico they they ruled her as as a, a intoxicated I've been drunk she, I ain't died well she was told that she died from alcohol poison. That's that was her crazy. family was told. But when they brought her back to the States and did a second autopsy, yeah. that's when they told her family that her neck was broken, her back was cracked. I think the best just didn't want to deal with it because there's no way. That's had some hell of a, that had to be some hell of a tequila. Boy, you tequila drank too much of that shit world. and you would kill a motherfucker. And, like, and they didn't, I don't that's think they ever heard an autopsy, but they was, they, it was all a motive. It was all a plot. And they didn't, it didn't be that. I just don't right. understand us going on vacation. Happen. To kill you. Gonna happen to you. Like, you couldn't find no other kind of way to kill you. We're going to go on vacation. To kill you. That's a 5,000 premeditated murder. You know what I'm saying? If they continue to put them puts on their neck, what you're going to see is they're going to continue to shoot in them videos. Just like you see the video now where he's like, it's my first body. And she's laying in a little canopy like, how you. You know, that's like you premeditate. You already done put it out there. Yeah. So it's going to, they're going to keep telling on each other. They, everything going to come. And, it, and it's just crazy. like the one video that they had that she was walking through the house looking for them. And he says, he's she walking through the house, house looking for us. And they're in the room plotting to kill her. But he was slowing her down for even making it in there. And when you get in there, you can see the, right. you can see the energy in the video. You can see energy. That's why I read energy now. Yeah. I have no it friends. I have no family here. It's just me. And I'm watching energy. And Tequila Room is very holistic. I have to. I have to be very alert and awoke, you know. And before I go put too far, I want to make sure we say RP takeoff because I hate the situation yeah. where a black brother getting killed over something so small that had nothing to do with him. No. I just want to send my condolences out to his, <clears> his family. To me, honestly, and his I, loved ones. I feel like um, they spirits had already left their body before all this stuff even happened. That's mm -hmm. why I take off just still standing there, sipping on a cup. There's nothing in there. Just like when she was fighting, she was not fighting back. They spirit, God already pulled their spirits before before any all that happened. You know, it's all for a reason, and it's gonna be a big reason behind it when everybody learns. Do you feed your women spaghetti? <laughs> you give me spaghetti vibes. Like, I don't eat spaghetti. Like once a month, bitch. You want some of this spaghetti? I cook, oh, yeah, I cook for yeah, you. Yeah. I want you to know. No, I don't eat no spaghetti. That's, that's just something that I don't eat. Now, I, we, before we get off, and I have enjoyed you so much. Like, thank you yeah, so much have. for coming. Like, I have literally had a ball and a blast with you. But we got to hear this song, man. So I, we, we gonna sign off on this song. So this is what we gonna do. 
We're going to say thank you all. Toast our glasses. Yes, sir. Thank you all for tuning in to another hilarious episode of Sipping and, and Tripping. But before we get up out of here, we got to hear Tequila Soul. And I want to hear that. Sorry to bother you. But fuck y'all. There you go. We got to be a little chunk. When, we, when she's doing it, we got to say it like that. Fuck y'all. Okay? Yeah, now you got flame in your throat that you try to get out. Fuck y'all. Yeah, you sound like you coming down with something. Yeah, I'm coming down with something. If you want to catch my show, I know how you sick, motherfucker. If you want to catch me, if you want to catch my show, I'm be in Chattanooga this Saturday at the Barking Legs, and it's let them know the date. Tell them the date. It's uh, November the 26th. That's this yes. Saturday, and the show starts at seven. Yes. We're gonna have poets there, we're gonna have comedians there, and this is my first time going back to my hometown since so first time up, doing man. it. So that's I'm what's gonna definitely pray for that. That's what's up. Up. I wish I could be there right now. And also, we are uh, on the also you do comedy tour. We are the twenty seventh of no, uh, November. We will be in Jolton. We are moving this show on down. We are going to be in Jolton, uh, November twenty seventh. You can check out the page of sleepbabycomedy dot com, or you can holler on our Facebook or Sean's uh, Facebook or whatever. You can go to Miss Certified, or you can go to Sleep Baby Comedy. Sean Cooper, Facebook I won't go say the cool brother. If you look for tequila, do not spell it like the alcohol. Y'all will drink the alcohol. Yes, yeah, T E K. No, it's T A K E L A. No E in it. T A K E L A in room. Tequila room. T A K E L A. One more time. T A K E L A. One more time. T A K E L A. All right. T A K E L A. All right. All right. I said T A K E L A. And then you said Kelly L A. So I'm gonna play my song out of this song with y'all to sing along with me. You know what I'm saying? Come on, being certified witch. I gotta quit this shit. Put it to the mic. Put it to the mic. Okay. Come on. One, two, three. Sorry to bother, but fuck ya. Alright, sorry to bother, but fuck ya. Yeah, sorry to bother, but fuck ya. Sorry to bother, but fuck ya. Watch how that beat me. Hey! Uh, that beat me uh, 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 Hey! Yeah, hey. The hey. intro kicked in. You can uh, see us every motherfucking Tuesday. Hey. On sipping and tripping. Hey. And if we don't like it, sorry to bother, but hey. fuck ya. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, man, for tuning in, man. Every Tuesday, man. Thank you so much, man. The Sleep Baby Comedian, Ms. Certified. And our motherfucking <laughs> lovely special guest who came through to bless us. I yeah. thank you so much. I love you, sister. Thank you. I'm so proud of you and what you're doing, man. And God bless you through you and your travels. Miss Tequila Room. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you God so much, you. man. All right, man. Look at that. It's the positivity for me. It's the positivity for me.